Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Just Guy 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we finished the Majin Institute, or Death Institute Majin Academy story. And Stella has permanently joined the party along with Rutile. But in this episode, we are going to ignore that for the moment being. <laughs> Whatever you say, Prinny. Whatever you say. During the course of the story, we got some new dudes here. I want to say we might have also gotten a new teacher. Be seated. Let's check this out. Teacher post. No. Okay. Never mind. I don't know what's going on. I could have sworn we got five people, but, you know, whatever. Fourteenth year teacher. Let's go. Oh no, it's Santa Claus. Oh no, it's Marjorie! <laughs> The 10th anniversary of the Rhapsody series, uh, Rhapsody A Musical Adventure was the first ever Nippon Ichi game to be released in the West. It was an RPG for the PS2, or PS1 rather. It's a tactical RPG about a girl named Cornette who, uh, who controls puppets. And, uh, Marjorie here turned her boyfriend to stone. That is pretty much what I remember of the plot. Yes, you are on the PS Vita. You're supposed to be on the PS1. <laughs> Marjorie also cameoed in Disgaea 1 and 2, if you guys remember from my last Let's Plays. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Magic! Oh man, this song. A witch from Marl's Kingdom. She is sensitive about her age. Witch power. Increase magic offense to a unit by 100%. Does that mean when she's a... I don't know. Increase magic offense by 50% when SP is less than 25%. She's got very high int, uh, pretty high SP too. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, Marjorie. <laughs> what does she have? Argos Warfare. I might want to take that. She's level 100, okay. Oh yeah, that is a pretty great item right there. So is this goddess dress. I care about weapons though, so haha. -ha. Okay, that was a thing. Thank you. 
<laughs> Valva Torres would be very angry with you. We don't need those. Alright, next! Legendary Student. It's Prie! Prie is from La Pucelle Tactics, a strategy RPG for the PS2. This is her uh, version from the from one of the bad endings of La Pucelle, where she spent so much time beating people up in the in the Netherworld that she became an overlord herself. She's not saying very much. <laughs> Refer to La Pucelle for more details. Bound attack! Increased damage by 10% times number of empty panels in attack range. Increase the equipment bonus of orbs by 20%. Look at those aptitudes, man! That is crazy town! Requiem Eternum. Check La Pucelle for more. So, evidently she is about as much of a powerhouse as she always has been. This is good. She has a furious... Oh hey, this is the uh, the battle song from the first chapter of La Pucelle. Nice. I think. Uh, let's beat her up. We don't need to steal her stuff. We got a Sophia's Mirror. Pretty great. Oh, hey, she is talking. <laughs> All right, next police brutality. Sounds like a news headline we have every other day. Demons. They are feared by every people in every age as the fallen angels or creatures with monstrous powers that go against the heavens. Demons are divided into seven different kinds which, re which represent the seven great sins of the world. Arrogance, jealousy, anger, laziness, greed, gluttony, and lust. All humans are born with little demons within themselves, and to live as a human you must suppress that instinctual demon within. Life is a constant battle against yourself, who sneaks up on your weaknesses. Police Department Unofficial Incident Report. Unregistered. Another Institute Evil Academy. Subject? Soichiro Kogure. Uh, 
Uh... What? I have no idea what series this guy is from. Oh no, it's Phoenix Wright! <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, what are you doing up there? Detective from the Metropolitan PD. He hates creepy horror things. Whoa! Look at those aptitudes! Oh man! Judo Black Belt, throwing range plus one panel. Huh. Okay, I'm guessing this is some fr from some, uh, Nippon Ichi visual novel that I've never heard of. Let's, uh... Let's just take him out. I don't really know what to say. <clears throat> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay then, that happened. Alright, final recruit, let's go. Dreaming Sisters, I guess we get Fuka and Desko in the uh, same thing. Which is fine with me. <laughs> These two are from Disgaea 4. Pretty great. <laughs> She's gonna be a teacher. <laughs> Dude, she's 14. Let her... D d d don't even 
jump to conclusions. And Desco is like five, maybe. I don't know. I don't actually know Desco's age, it's a mystery. Pretty-ish girl. Mysterious girl who appeared with Desco. According to her, this is all a dream. <laughs> She's level 200. She has a moon child axe. Recovers HP and increases attack by 50% when first KO'd. Wow, that is a pretty sweet ability. Bombat stick. Pissed ten thousand percent. Pretty Kaiser double X. Desco, future final boss. One of my favorite characters from this guy of four. Final boss air. Reduced damage of all normal attacks to zero. Wow, that is amazing. A natural born honor student. The future final boss. I would love to see Desco be a final boss in a later Disgaea game. Or at least a bonus boss. Alright, let's swipe some items. Oh man, look at that axe! I want that axe! It's mine! <laughs> see, we need somebody with zero counters. Uh... Mew Mew. That did not work as well as I would have hoped. Let's do a tower attack! It was ineffective. Let's do another tower attack. Oh yeah, I forgot about her revival. Jeez. But talk about annoying. As you can see, Desco is immune to counterattacks. Alright, now that I've taken all their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so that's Fuka and Desco. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, where'd they go? Oh. I ran out of space, guys. They went to detent. Wait, they went to. No, they didn't. Where are they? Are they in the detention room? They are. Oh, you know what? I bet it's because we have uh, some characters as reserved seats. Uh, we can deal with this. Let's see. Marjorie, we don't need you. Actually, we really don't need a lot of these guys. Let's see here. You know what? I'll do this. Uh, I'll. I'll do this elsewhere. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye bye.